Hello, and welcome back to Road Trivia, the once a day road trip trivia quiz. Today's episode is number 756. The category is Brainy Tuesday. This is number 38. I know we're a day behind. I'm catching up, so it's Wednesday, but we're doing Brainy Tuesday. Brainy Tuesday are the difficult trivia questions, random categories, but a much harder level of gameplay. So, good luck on today's quiz. Question number one. Originally published anonymously as Travels into Several Remote Nations of the World, in what 1726 Jonathan Swift novel do the several remote nations include Laputa, Hunahimland, Brobdingnag, and Lilliput? All of those nations are featured in Gulliver's Travels. Question number two. What 20th century American artist evoked moods of loneliness in urban settings in many of his works, including his most famous painting, Nighthawks, which portrays three customers and a waiter in a late night diner? That artist's name was Edward Hopper. Question number three. What organ inside the human body, lying just below the diaphragm and to the left of the stomach, is responsible for filtering blood and storing old red blood cells? The answer is the spleen. Question number four. What river, flowing out of the Bodensee, Sea, flows through such cities as Basel, Strasbourg, and Bonn, and empties into the North Sea at Rotterdam? The answer is the Rhine. Question number five. What Spanish explorer in 1508 founded the first settlement on Puerto Rico and went on to become the governor of that territory before he discovered Florida in 1513 while in search of the Fountain of Youth? The answer is Juan Ponce de Leon. Ponce de Leon will work. Question six. If anyone but the predestined one sat there, it meant certain death. What was the name of this chair at Arthur's round table, later occupied by Galahad, for he was destined to find the Holy Grail? The name of that chair was the Siege Perilous. Question number seven. Between 1857 and 1859, Richard Wagner was in love with Mathilde Weisendach, the wife of a close friend and patron. As a result of this affair, he created what semi-autobiographical opera in 1865? The opera that resembles that relationship is Tristan and Isolde. Question number eight. When ships carrying supplies returned in 1591, all they found was the word Croatoan scratched into the bark of a tree. That was all that was left of what Walter Raleigh founded missing colony, the first British colony in the New World.
The word was Croatoan. The colony was Roanoke. Question number nine. This novel's author committed suicide one month after its publication. It is the semi-autobiographical tale of Esther Greenwood, who has a mental breakdown. What is the title of this 1963 Sylvia Plath novel? It was called The Bell Jar. Question number 10. He suggested that one could not know God through reason, but instead had to take a leap of faith. His major work is entitled Inten Eller in his native tongue. Who was this Danish founder of existentialism, author of Either Or? The answer is Kierkegaard. Soren Kierkegaard. Question number 11. What French explorer, searching for the Northwest Passage, sailed up the St. Lawrence River in the 1530s, claiming parts of Canada for France? The answer is Jacques Cartier. Question number 12. What novel by Alexander Dumas concerns Edmond Dantes' quest for revenge on those who accused him of aiding the then-exiled Napoleon Bonaparte? One of my all-time favorite books and movies, The Count of Monte Cristo. Question 13. Its name comes from the city where the Republican Constitution was adopted. What was this German government that Adolf Hitler dissolved after becoming Chancellor in 1933? That specific government was called the Weimar Republic. Question 14. Viruses, bacteria, and the cells of transplanted organs can all function as these. What are these substances foreign to the body that cause the production of antibodies? Antibodies are created because of antigens. Question number 15. Natural ones are found mainly in Myanmar, but they are also produced artificially and used in lasers. What is this valuable variety of corundum, a gem that is transparent red in color? The gem we're looking for is a ruby. Question 16. Beating Robert Scott's expedition by one month, what Norwegian on December 14, 1911 was the first man to reach the South Pole? That man was Roald Amundsen. Question 17. With Athena's help, he slew a dragon and sewed its teeth into the ground, causing soldiers to spring up 
and help him build a great city. Who was this mythological founder of Thebes? Cadmus. Cadmus was the founder of Thebes. Question 18. The play within this Shakespeare play is Pyramus and Thisbe, starring Bottom's troupe and performed at Theseus and Hippolyta's wedding. What is this play featuring several fairies, including Oberon and Titania, the king and queen? The answer is A Midsummer Night's Dream. Question 19. This city's name in German is Pressburg, and it was the capital of Hungary from 1526 to 1784. What is this city on the Danube River, 30 miles east of Vienna, that serves as the capital of Slovakia? The answer is Bratislava. Question 20. His methods of tobacco farming turned Jamestown into a prosperous community. Who was this soon-to-be wealthy farmer who famously married Pocahontas in 1614? It was John Smith in the cartoon, but it was John Rolfe in real life. John Rolfe. All right, that is it for today. Thank you for watching this episode of Road Trivia. Subscribe to this channel if you want to be reminded of every quiz that pops out. Most of the time they come out one per day. That's why we call it the once a day road trip trivia quiz. However, if you follow along all the time, you know that this one is a day late. I uh, am currently having issues with my road trip mobile, which is also the vehicle that I take to work every day. So I've been trying to get it into the shop, run it around after work. It just doesn't leave a lot of time to sit down and write trivia. So I apologize, but we should be catching up tonight and then back on track by the weekend. Thank you for your patience, and here is question 21, the tiebreaker for today's trivia. Amida, Shengon, Tendai, Theravada, and Zen are all sects of what religion founded in the 6th century BC by Siddhartha Gautama? Those are all sects of the religion of Buddhism, founded by Siddhartha Gautama. That is it for today. Thank you again for your patience. Check back tomorrow or probably later today for today's quiz, since this one's a day late. Yeah, either way, there's 755 other trivia quizzes that you can fill in your time with if you just have to play some trivia. See you tomorrow.